Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. It's time for another unboxing. I got this in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program the other day. This is the Huntsman Elite Optomechanical Gaming Keyboard, and we're going to have a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. Now, the uh, optomechanical thing is a, a bit of extra marketing language there. It's basically a keyboard that has spring-loaded keys, but it uses an optical sensor to register the key press. And as a result, they are saying it'll deliver faster actuations because it is using an optical sensor versus something that uh, requires some kind of physical connection. Uh, and this is what the keyboard looks like. Um, from what they're saying in the, around the web on this thing, it's a uh, kind of a, simulates the uh, cherry blue switches. It is very noisy as you can hear. Uh, but really, this is just tactile feedback. It's not actually uh, registering a key press when you push down. It's just registering the key press when it detects the uh, whatever's inside of this key uh, passing through the sensor that's on those keys. I'll pull off one of the keycaps here so you can see what it looks like. Um, so I guess it's hard to see here, but there is some glass here on the front, and it looks like it's picking up uh, when the key, th the key uh, here interrupts that flow of light, which is what apparently it's going to do. Like I said, we'll be taking a closer look at this when we do the full review on my main channel at lon.tv in a couple of days. And this is an RGB keyboard, so all these keys will light up in whatever color you want. And in the box here, along with the keyboard, is a wrist rest. And apparently the wrist rest lights up also. And you can see there's a, a little spot here on the front of the keyboard to attach that wrist rest. So it might be ergonomically pleasing here. So let's undo the packaging here. This is what it looks like. Uh, so it's got a nice pad to it, nice cushion. Feels very nice. Hopefully it doesn't get gunked up too much. And what you do with it is just attach it in like so. And it's got like some magnets that lock it into place here. So it feels pretty nice. And I guess the whole thing lights up too. So the keyboard lights up as does the wrist rest when you get everything configured. So that is what it looks like there. A um, little bit of little stands here on the back. You got two levels of propping you can do here. So you can fold it out like that and then do that. So that's that. It's got a nice braided USB cable. It looks pretty long. Uh, there are two connectors on here. I'm guessing this probably draws a little more power than uh, normal. So that is what you got there. I don't believe this has any USB pass through though. So I think you have to uh, dedicate the ports on your computer for this. And they also have a little dial here that you can configure to do stuff. So it's got a clickable uh, thing in the center here. I guess by default, it will control volume uh, and this will mute. And you've got some other play buttons here for media. Uh, there does not appear to be a macro row of keys on this. So it's a uh, basic keyboard, although I'm sure there's some macro functionality through software that we'll explore in the main review. And that is it for the box. There is some uh, literature here that comes with it. Uh, there's two versions of this keyboard. There's the Huntsman and the Huntsman Elite. I guess the Elite version, which we have here, uh, has the RGB lights. The other one doesn't. So I think that's the main difference between the two. So we're going to have a full review of this up very shortly on the main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned and let me know what you'd like to see as we're looking at this keyboard that hasn't been covered in other reviews. Let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.